Today I'm preparing a simple Asian sesame quinoa salad. This is one of my very first recipes I made when I started posting, and I remember putting it together in our teeny tiny little New York City apartment and shooting the photos on our table in the back as the light streamed in, and it's always been one of my favorite salads, and I hope it will be yours too. This is one delicious salad, and it's perfect for meal prep to eat during the week. It's filled with great ingredients such as red cabbage, red bell pepper, carrots, edamame, cucumber, and I use bok choy for the lettuce, but you can use whatever you prefer. Start by placing the dried quinoa into a bowl and covering completely with water. Let it sit for about 30 seconds while you prepare the dressing. Using a small jar with a lid, add two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, and just a pinch of red pepper flakes, which is also optional. Cover and shake vigorously. Grab a mesh strainer and strain the water from the soaking quinoa. Then, rinse the quinoa under cold water for about 30 seconds or until the water runs completely clear. Place the rinsed quinoa in a large pot and add two cups of water. Set the heat to high and cover with the lid. Once it begins to boil, reduce the heat to a simmer and cook for 15 minutes or until the grains have soaked up all the water. Then, use a fork to fluff the grains. Now that the edamame is cooking, you want to go ahead and start to prepare your other ingredients. Go ahead and begin with the edamame, which you want to take and put in the microwave and heat for two to three minutes, depending on what the package says. Then move on to chopping your other vegetables. Remove the outer tough layers of the red cabbage and toss. Next, slice the bottom stem off and then cut in half by slicing from the top to the bottom. Thinly slice the cabbage and remove any tough parts, and then chop into smaller pieces. Slice the red bell pepper in half and remove the seeds. Next, thinly slice and chop it into small pieces. Peel and chop the cucumber and then set aside. You can also remove the seeds if you prefer, but this step is not necessary. Now that we have everything cooked and prepared, it's time to put the salad together. If you have the time, chill the quinoa and the edamame before assembling everything. Place all of the ingredients, with the exception of the dressing, into one very large bowl. This recipe makes a ton of salad, so if you need to use two bowls to mix it up, you can. If you're going to be serving this salad for a crowd, go on ahead and transfer the ingredients into your serving bowl. Then, give your dressing a little shake and pour it on and toss one more time before serving. Okay, we are ready to plate this salad and it smells delicious. I like to go ahead and put a little bit on my plate and then I add some extra garnish by adding maybe a little bit of extra red pepper flakes, some sesame seeds, and even some green onions, all of which just add to the delicious flavor of all of these vegetables mixed together. It's a little bit of green onion, maybe just a little bit more red pepper flakes. And the red pepper flakes are optional. If you wanna leave them out of the salad dressing, you can do that as well. Okay, this looks delicious. Okay, let me just grab a fork here. 
Oh, there's so much goodness in this salad. And it's one, again, that you can use for meal prep and you can go in ahead and dish it out into your meal prep, prep jars and eat it all week long. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I do. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe for more recipes by clicking the link below.